When you think of our neighbors right next to us in the downtown where there's a very robust small business community and a, a thriving urban area, Logan Heights, you know, the average family makes less than 26,000. 50% or more of our residents live below the poverty line and 80 plus percent of our residents are renters. BAME CDC strives to create a resilient family and community in Logan Heights. We're not trying to give handouts, but we're trying to give hand ups. So someone might need a little help along the way during a struggling time. That's the reason why BAME CDC exists. Our primary goal is to really support our neighbors. We spend a lot of work around our small business owners, trying to support them in any way we can. And then we really spend some time with the resident itself, and, and we do that with programs that focus on financial. So we have a financial opportunity center where we you know, do some one-on-one -on -one counseling with our residents, uh, some training classes. And then we have our transportation program. It's such a needed program. We have a senior population here in the community that still needs to get around to medical appointments, grocery shopping. Wherever I had to go, I always asked for the same driver. Believe it or not, it's a lot of uh, senior citizens that don't drive and they don't have no way to go unless somebody takes them or some service that they can use to take them wherever they want to go. To the doctor or to the dentist, to the grocery store or just shopping. When she didn't get her driver's license renewed, it took some of the independence away from her. She has 10,000 places that she needs to go through during the day that she feels like she has a need to go through. Some of them are needs, some of them are wants, but in my mind, if she wants to go there and we can get her there, that's important to her. If I didn't have this service, I'd have to wait for one of the children to come by and pick me up and take me. If she didn't have the service, she would have to wait, because my sister lives in LA, so she would have to wait until I could come and take her, which is pretty much on the weekend, or she wouldn't be able to go. This has put the independence back in her life, and, and that's a good feeling when you get to be 90 years old. It doesn't matter that we don't have as much money as other communities have. We don't have as many services. BAME, they are a blessing for all of these people in our community. It's really nice to work with an organization from my very own neighborhood to achieve these important goals. BAME CDC understands the vision for this neighborhood and it's great to partner with them to help create great neighborhood serving amenities and access to high quality jobs. That's really the recipe for the people of this neighborhood and the, of the greater Logan Heights area to help them achieve their American dream.